Hey everyone, welcome back to new amazing After Effects tutorial. Today, we're going to create a 2D fire animation using two different methods. Make sure to watch till the end because you'll learn lots of useful tips and tricks. And before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get started. So here we are in After Effects. First, we will use the stroke method to make the fire animation. So for that, make a new composition. Let's call it first fire animation and set its size to one by one ratio and duration to eight seconds. Then press okay. After that, select the pen tool and set its fill to none and stroke color to yellow and stroke width to 150 pixels. Now make a straight line using the pen tool. and then go to the search bar and search for cap and change its butt cap to a round cap. Then again, search for taper and change its start length up to 100. Now apply wave warp effect on this layer. Change the wave height amount to 30 and wave width amount to 250. Direction to 0. Wave speed to 1.1. After that, duplicate this layer and change the wave height amount to minus 30 for the duplicate layer. Now change the track mat of the shape layer to alpha mat. Now duplicate both shape layers. Change their position left using the left arrow key. And decrease their size using the pen tool. Do this one more time, but change its position towards the right. And change the wave warp amount for randomness in the shapes. Now change the color of the shape layer to orange. Adjust the size of the layers. Duplicate it one more time. And reduce its size. And change the color to white. Now make a new adjustment layer. Apply simple choker effect on it. And change its choker mat amount to 15. Now select all layers and pre-compose them by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus C. Call it flames. Now go to the project panel and duplicate this flames layer and drag and drop this duplicate layer in the timeline. Then right-click on it, go to the Transform option, and flip horizontal. Now go under this duplicate composition and change the color of this shape layer. and change the wave warp effect amount a little bit for the randomness between the flames. Now go back to the main comp and adjust their position. Now duplicate the flames layer again in the project panel and bring it into the timeline. And reduce its scale around 50%. Then place it at the left corner of the main flame.
Then go under this composition and add randomness to the values of the wave warp effect. And delete the white shape from it. Then go back to the main comp. Duplicate this composition again. And place it at the right corner of the main flames. And flip it horizontal. Now let's create an adjustment layer and apply glow on it. Reduce its exposure and radius as needed. Then make an expression on the radius by holding the Alt key. Click on the stopwatch and right wiggle 8,50 in parentheses. It will give us the flickering effect. Now let's create the sparks for these flames. For that, make a new composition called Sparks. Then make a new solid layer. and apply CC Particle System 2 effect on it. Change its birth size to 0 0.1. Longevity to 1. Then go under Physics. Change Animation to Fire. Velocity to 0 0.5. Gravity to 0 0.52 and change its Y radius value to 150. Now drag and drop this Sparks comp into the first fire animation comp. And make a mask around the Spark layer like this. And increase the mask feather amount. Then add Curves effect on the adjustment layer and adjust the curve like this. And this is the first fire animation. Now let's create fire using another method. First, let's organize the layers in a proper way in the project panel. Now make a new composition called Second Fire Animation. Then right click on the timeline and create a new solid layer. Change its color to white. Then apply CC Mr. Mercury effect on it. Change its X radius to 4 and Y radius to 0. Velocity to 0 0.4. Birth rate to 0 0.3 and gravity to minus 0 0.7. And resistance to 0 0.04 and the animation to jet. Then change the blob birth size to 80, and blob death size to 0, and blob influence to 
and change its position a little bit down. Now apply fill effect on it and change its color to dark orange. Then duplicate this layer and change its anchor point at the bottom of the fire. Then reduce its scale amount to 70. And change its fill color to light orange. And reduce the longevity amount a little bit for randomness. Now duplicate this layer again and reduce its scale value to 50. And again, change its color to yellow. And reduce the longevity amount a little bit. And duplicate this layer one last time and reduce its scale value to 30. And change its fill color to white. After that, make a new adjustment layer and copy the glow effect from the first animation comp and paste it on this layer. And also copy the spark layer from it and paste it on the comp. and adjust the mask of the spark layer according to the fire animation. After all the adjustments, here are both fire animations. And this is the final animation. You can use this animation in many ways. You can also change its color to blue to make it more attractive. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video for more amazing content like this. And follow me on Instagram for more amazing tips and tricks. See you in the next tutorial.